Hello everyone, uh, we're back with our XPS M1730. Uh, what we're going to do now is open the hard drive bay and actually change the hard drives. Um, I've got two hard drives here. Um, these are both Seagate uh, momentous hard drives um, with the uh, shock protection. The one in the actual laptop is a 200 gig hard drive but that's in the Hitachi hard drive. The Seagates are meant to run cooler and uh, they're much quieter than the Hitachi drives that you usually get with the XPS. Um, here we've got two Seagate 200 gig hard drives, both of which are 7200 RPM. Um, we're going to be setting these up in a RAID configuration. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just to unpack the hard drives and uh, take the cover off the actual hard drive bay. Okay, as with any other installation, please remember to uh, take the power away from the laptop and also remove the laptop battery. You can see where I've removed the battery just uh, at the bottom of the picture there. Um, what you need to do next is uh, remove the actual cover as we've done there. We're then going to remove the four screws holding the caddy in place. So I'll just release them. Bear in mind that the screws don't completely come, come out of the unit. They have uh, small rubber washers which actually keep them in place so you've got no hassle of uh, screws being lost. So I'm just going to release the last one there. Gonna just release that part there, and that's the caddy removed. And we're then going to remove the SATA cable from the back. There we go. It's the SATA cables removed. So you can see the SATA cables there. I'm just going to zoom that in a slight bit for you. So there's your SATA connectors that connect both the uh, hard drives and there's your hard drive caddy in which the hard drives sit. You've got screws on either side, it's four screws in total, just keeping the hard drive in place. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to undo these four screws, put the new hard drives into place, uh, and then we'll continue with the video. Okay, as you can see, I've got two hard drives in place now. Um, I'm just going to zoom that out a bit so I can get a better picture. So you've got your two hard drives, uh, securely in place. Um, bear in mind you don't actually get extra screws with the uh, XPS to put the second hard drive in place so you need a few small screws just to screw the second hard drive in um, and then we, we can actually put that back in, reverse the process and actually put that back into the unit. Okay, What we're doing now is we've just turned the caddy over just going to put the uh, Sort a connector back onto place. There you go. It's not too difficult to put it back onto place, and then reseat the caddy into the laptop. Tighten up your four screws. Again, these screws will, will should be in place because they don't actually remove from the caddy. They're kept in place with small rubber rubber washers. So we're going to put that into place. Small tab back into the side and the cover back on top of the laptop, screw the cover back down and that's it, you've, in, you've installed two hard drives into uh, the XPS there um, now we'll power up the uh, system and begin our RAID setup Okay, we've just gone into the BIOS. As soon as you switch the laptop on, there's obviously no operating operating system installed. So you press F2 straight into the BIOS. Um, if we go down to device info, we can see that the primary hard drive is 200 gig. Second hard drive is also 200 gig, which is a good sign because we know that the BIOS has now recognised two hard drives and that they're both 200 gig each. Uh, which is correct. If we now go down to the next option on board devices uh, we need to go down to the flash cache module and we need to switch that off. We then go up to SATA operation and switch RAID on. It gives a, a quick note just to say that uh, we'll need a reinstall for switching RAID on 
and do we want to continue press yes and that's it we're done so we now escape setup uh, and we and now we're going to go into the actual SATA controller, the ma SATA matrix controller. So we save and exit this, and let the, the uh, laptop restart. Once the laptop's restarted, when it's at post, we're going to press Control and I, and enter the actual RAID manager. Okay, we're now in the matrix storage manager. Um, as soon as I restarted the BIOS, just Control and I brings you straight into the matrix storage manager. We've got four options here, create or delete a RAID volume, reset disk to non-RAID and exit. At the bottom we can see that we've got both disks uh, listed, both with 186 gig. Uh, so I'll actually remove the formatting, that's roughly what you're getting anyway, so that's fine. <coughs> Sorry, we're gonna now create a RAID volume, so we can select that, give it a volume name, We'll just leave it as volume zero, that's fine. We can either stripe the disks or mirror the disks. Uh, we want the performance, so we're going to stripe the disks. Um, stripe size 128k, which is fine. The capacity it's giving us is 372 uh, gig. <coughs> the capacity it's giving us is 372 gig, um, which is the maximum capacity, which is fine. So we're now going to create the volume. So it's saying all the data from the disks is going to be lost. Are you sure you want to create this volume? So we select yes. And that's it. So we can see now there's uh, at the top there, there's a RAID volume, which is 372 gig. The status is normal and it's bootable. And the RAID level is zero stripe. So we now exit. And uh, as soon as we exit, we just put in our operating system uh, disk, <coughs> uh, insert our operating system disk, and uh, install the operating system as normal. Uh, obviously, remembering to, if it's Windows XP, you press F6 to install your RAID drivers, and if it's Windows Vista, uh, when you go right through to create your partition. Uh, you install your RAID drivers there, so make sure you have your RAID drivers on a USB stick uh, so that you can install, install them uh, in the actual Windows installation. So uh, I hope that helps in uh, setting up RAID if, you, if you've got an M1730 and you'll be setting up RAID yourself, that's, uh, that's the way to go about it. I hope yours goes as smoothly.